Well, I get an idea into my head and I just keep going with it. Those ideal hero talents that I came up with for my reaction videos, I realized that they weren't nearly fleshed out enough except to discuss what active abilities I'd like to see and to get across the general idea of having two new active abilities per tree that replace existing abilities in order to combat Spellbar Bloat, plus one all-new ability on top of that to keep things interesting. I have to admit that there was another big mistake that I made in this proto-draft. Having the goal of pulling as many Diablo abilities as possible wasn't exactly the best way to improve World of Warcraft. True as it may be that we need active abilities to make the hero talents exciting, the active abilities that we actually get should be the ones that work with our kits, not the ones that looked good in a different game series in a different genre. Yeah, having that as a goal was not my finest moment. I also didn't do much of anything with the passives in my ideal trees. In retrospect, the passives might do even more to alter our gameplay and flavor than the active abilities. I won't go so far as to say active abilities for show and passives for go. Both passives and active abilities should work together to form our kits and our gameplay, and hopefully what I've done in my first fleshed out draft does exactly that. The funny thing is, as I was putting these ideas together, I ended up creating a first tier passive that ended up defining each of the tree's flavor and some aspects of their gameplay as well. I didn't plan on that going into this project, but it's how it ended up happening. I've also changed up some of the active abilities and put more thought into the overall flavor of the hero trees. And while there are several Diablo Paladin or Crusader abilities still in this draft, I'm also pulling from Paladin's own history and the World of Warcraft for inspiration. Before I go through the trees one by one, I'd like to talk about some of the overall design philosophies and about who I hope ends up seeing this video. Of course, I want other players to see my video and get feedback on what I did right and what I did wrong with these talents, but, well, every player who has a big idea hopes to the light that Blizzard sees his idea and uses it. For his own class, not for other classes. I'm looking at you, Clash. And I'm sure I'm not the first player who's thought about how awesome it would be for Blizzard developers to be coming up with ideas with players, like in a Skype meeting with players where the developers talk about their goals and the players talk about what would get them excited or what their class can't do, and design philosophies and what has and hasn't worked in the past get discussed, and specific abilities and their details get pounded out, and oh, so much agency is placed in the player's hands about what'll happen in the next expansion. <sighs> but that's not realistic. While we often disagree with and dislike the things that Blizzard developers do and have done, though I have to say Dragonflight so far has been a lot of really good and long strides in all the right directions as far as class design goes, the fact is it's not practical for Blizzard devs to actively dialogue with every player. And if they only actively dialogue with or provide agency to a few players, it'll feel unfair to the rest of us. And it will be unfair to the rest of us. If they dialogued with just me, for example, then my philosophies about how every spec should have a range direct damage ability with no cooldown and how every spec should have a multi-target damage option, those things would get emphasized and all the real problems with rotations or gaps in players' kits or lack of choices or whatnot, those would get ignored. And that's not by any means a good scenario. Plus, Blizzard devs really do have more data and more experience at class design than us players do. About the best any player with a big idea like me could realistically hope for is that their voices are heard by the devs and that they take what we're saying into account in what they decide to do for the game. I'm hoping that Blizzard devs see my ideal talents, see what gets players excited, and see how things can hang together. Of course, there's a lot of decisions about a game's design and development that can happen at different times, and that can affect oodles and oodles of other decisions. What philosophies or designs have the developers already committed to? What are they prepared to change? Those are some examples of decisions that affect other decisions. For example, it looked like the iteration of hero talents that Blizzard showed at BlizzCon were designed a lot like the vanilla trees, in that each node in the tree took about five talent points to fill in and progress past. My paladin hero trees, by contrast, look a lot more like the dragonflight talent trees in that one or two talent points are required to fill in a node in mine. Blizzard's talent point philosophy entails throwing a lot of talent points at players, like 10 per experience level, while mine entails throwing very few talents at players, like one per experience level. 
If Blizzard is already committed to the 10 points per experience level philosophy, for example, if they're tying in hero talent points to the main story quest progression, then my ideas may be worth much less to Blizzard than they would be if they weren't committed to 10 points per level. And again, maybe my talents could be retrofitted in some way to compensate, with each node taking 5 points anyway. Maybe some of the benefits that the active abilities have over baseline abilities should take multiple talent points before they've achieved their full potential. But I'm getting a little off topic here. Before I go on to the specifics, I'd like to say, if Blizzard is watching and has any interest in reviving the old Frostfire Bolt spell for Frostfire Mages, the concept of replacing abilities with other abilities is perfect for that. And whatever other adjustments are needed to make it happen might just be worth it. I mean, you could set things up so that Fireball gets replaced with Frostfire Bolt if you pick the Frostfire Hero Talents, or Frost Bolt gets replaced with Frostfire Bolt, depending on whether you're starting from a Fire Spec or a Frost Spec. This has a lot of potential, and, you know, I really hope Blizzard takes the idea. But anyhow, in the next video, I go talent by talent through my first draft of the ideal Lightsmith Talents.